All right, today we're in Meridian, Mississippi. We're here doing the fitness depot. We got to do an inspection of it. I've already done my aerials. It's a piece of cake here. I got the approval, air map. Got all the equipment up, took the flight, took the shot. Done. It really wasn't that hard. It was wide open space. Um, I'm not sure where we're heading to next, but uh, we left about 8.20 this morning and got here about 10.40. It's about 122 miles from our driveway to this parking spot. So we did pretty good. All right, guys, catch in a few. All right, we're on leg number three of the four leg trip today in Mississippi. This is Ellisville, Mississippi. Uh, we've been through here, but we never really had a chance to stop for long. And uh, it's a quiet little town, very small. I can give you a little history of it. Um, the train track runs right here in front. And we're here doing the Witness Depot. I'll give you a view of that. You can hear the train coming now, as a matter of fact. Ellisville, Mississippi. 11 square miles, population 4,500. U.S. Highway 11 cuts right through the heart. It's about 22 miles from Hattiesburg. Now, Ellisville was named for Powhatan Ellis, a former U.S. Senator who was a descendant of Pocahontas and her father, Chief Powhatan. Now, Ellisville was designated as the county seat of Jones County, which was depicted in the recent Matthew McConaughey movie, Free State of Jones, a movie about the revolt of uh, soldiers who deserted and slaves who did not want to be persecuted and slaves anymore. Okay, now, there was also another star, Red West, and he played Red in the Patrick Swayze movie, Roadhouse. He's also from Ellisville. But here's my coup de grace. Lance Bass of NSYNC is also from Ellisville, Mississippi. Fourth and final leg of the Fitness Depot in Columbia, Mississippi. It is about four o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, as soon as we finish with this, we're heading home. So we should be back about 6, 6.30, somewhere in there. It's been a long day. We've gone over 400 miles today, uh, but it's been well worth it to do all four franchise locations in the same day. Normally, we don't get a chance to do that. So we've wrapped that up. We're gonna stop grabbing something to eat. I don't know where yet. She's still inside. We'll decide when she comes out. It's good to be able to go back home. Can't wait to get there. My feet tired, and I just can't wait to take a load off at home. All right, home at last, home at last. Come here, buddy, come here. And my little buddy is so happy. Wave, hey everybody, hey everybody. You had a good day, didn't you? Yes, I did. All right, he was a good boy today. We, uh, we wrapped up all four of the fitness depots and uh, we got back about 7.20. And this is the end of our day. Now tomorrow's going to be a big day as well. I got to get up early. We got to go to. I got to go to uh, the groundbreaking for the new soccer stadium and on Hoss Mill Road. Do an orbit around South Alabama and head off to Greene County High School for their graduation at 7:30 tomorrow night. So big day tomorrow in the weekend we gotta knock the rest of the yard out so all right go get her all right everybody that's uh that's it for the backyard vlog today thank you guys for traveling along with us we look forward to you guys uh keeping up with us remember to subscribe share it with your friends let everybody know click that bell so that you get notifications of whenever we post a new one so that's it.
Today uh, is a done deal. You gonna go get your? You gonna go get grandma? He gotta go get his grandma. Go get. It. Let's go. Thanks for uh, coming on out to the backyard vlog. We will see you guys tomorrow afternoon. And just remember, whether I see you on the street or on the sidelines, no matter where you're at, you make wise choices. All right, guys, y'all take care. See ya.